It's your boy, B Shaq, aka <laughs> Damn. And today I wanna Yo, B, what you do? Yo, bro, I was just about to record something. What's good? I know I can get in this, right, cuz? I know I can get in this, cuz. What well, what we discuss? What we discussing, cuz? Well, before you jumped in, I was gonna discuss how Ed Warsler the third from Boondocks and Tommy Egan from Power Yo, are essentially the same cats. That's mad stupid, babe. Mad stupid. First and foremost, like Ed Warsler's like a cartoon or something. And I think Tommy's like based on like a real person, I think. I don't know. This is true. So boom, I just saved you from wasting mad time, cuz. I right, just go ahead and just cut the tape. It's, it's not that simple, bro. You need it's to not that simple. I didn't say that we're exactly the same person. Yeah, I said directly about me. I said about me the same. Keyword being essentially still mad stupid, baby. Okay, since you both are in anyway, I'm gonna let you play the contrarian. I mean, ain't like we gonna have them anyway. This is the internet. Right, right, right. So, what? After stating the obvious, of course, this is what makes them completely different. Ed wants to the third is for money. Like, I'm talking about that serious stuff. Like, his grandpa's Ed wants to the first is like a billionaire. Like, that Tony Stark, Scrooge McDuck, swimming in gold bricks type money. Like, that flip that and put that against Tommy. Tommy's from the hood. Like, Tommy, only source of income is moving weight. Like, one has a, a grandpa's that's loaded. And the other just does his own okay. thing to get bread. Like that completely makes him different. Then secondly, Ed Wester, again, because he comes from bread, he grew up in that hoity toity, bourgeois, like like gated community suburb, suburb, suburb type situations with everybody with the the, the, the fancy like the the, the the drivers and the the the, uh, the maids and the, 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 the nannies, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Like they got like they got bird fountains in the front of their crib and the back of their crib bigger than the pools in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some real bread type situations. Like, Tommy's mom is some strung out, like, like schizo or some shit. Like, she really jacked up in the head. I mean, that kind of makes them another thing that makes them completely different. And lastly, you got to look at their closest compadres. Like, Ed's closest friend is Jen Rummy. Essentially, he's the same character as Ed. Maybe just a slightly, slightly smarter version of him. I don't know. Then you look at Tommy and his best friend or enemy or guy he's got a hit out on. I don't know what they got going on. Business Connect. I don't know. This season is so. I don't know what their relationship is. But Ghost validates Tommy. You know what I'm saying? Because like Ghost is the brains behind the whole thing. Like he keeps all of Tommy's lunacy in check. And when Ghost needs a hothead. Because sometimes you do need a wild card on your crew. You he calls in look, he calls in Tommy for it. Like that's just what his whole thing is for. So you finish or you done. That's mad corny, baby. It's mad Whatever. Corny. Okay. Whatever, man. What he said was all true. But again, we're not saying they're exactly the same character. What I'm saying is essentially the same. Meaning they have a lot of key traits that are very similar to each other. First being stated that they're both white males in their 30s with a distinct way of speaking. Now, I'm not gonna get into hashing into what's talking black or talking hood, but when you look at it and boil it down, they talk very, very similar. One being voiced by Charlie Murphy, though. Now, I will say they also have a key love affair with curse words, especially the word. But again, that's neither here nor there. One of the things that make them really similar is the fact that they're both hotheads that are willing to jeopardize everything and their being for the slightest bit of disrespect. Both seem to be in love with their life. No matter how destructive or how horrible the path they're headed down, they see no other way to life itself. Both make piss poor plans and then carry out those piss poor plans poorly. Now we'll also say that Tommy and Ed both make plans that are very linear. And when those plans see unseen circumstances or unforeseen circumstances, they can't detour and take an alternate route without it just going straight to hell. And when it comes to women, look, we all picked unsuitable mates from time to time. 
But I think that when it comes to Ed and Tommy, they both have a specialty skill of picking women that are just horrible. But anyway, what do you think? What characteristics did we miss? What makes them the same? What makes them different? Let us know down below. And as always, if you're feeling the vibe, please you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for real before I end up at the crib. You know what I'm saying? You get what, what he said. Anyway, y'all be easy. Thanks for watching. So, what? Yeah. You gotta love at least. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, okay, you gotta love at least start it before you jump in. Get out. Get out. How did I get on this side of the couch? How did I get on this side of the couch? This is your side of the couch. How did I get on this side of the couch? My name is Brandon, and I'm the best of all the girlies run to fill my chest. <laughs> <laughs>